In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up shared web hosting. So if you haven't seen the previous video where, where we were setting up a domain service and a domain name, please click on the button on screen now and that will take you back to the previous video. Now you've bought your domain name, you'll now need somewhere for your website to be hosted. Shared storage is the best option, which means that somebody hosts your server for you and it gets shared with several other people. In this video I'm going to be going through two web hosting services that you can use to put your blog online. The first is 000webhost.com and dreamhost.com. These both do differ because dreamhost.com you have to pay for whereas 000webhost.com you do not have to pay for however the dreamhost web service is much more reliable, much faster and you'll also get support with them. So going back to 000 webhost we can set up a free hosting plan uh, which obviously costs nothing. You have one and a half gig of storage space and 100 gig a month of transferred data. That is how much data you, uh, you can transfer between your site and the user. You can have up to five subdomains, five, e five email addresses, two MySQL databases um, and a simple site builder. Whereas with a service like DreamHost, you can get shared web hosting with unlimited disk storage, unlimited bandwidth, uh, unlimited domains, FTP, email, MySQL, PHP and is hosted on a Linux operating system. I'd recommend going with DreamHost because in the long run it is much better to use a paid web hosting service. However, if you do want to, you can use a free web hosting service, but bear in mind that your site may go down every now and again. So DreamHost usually costs $9 per month, and that equals out at about $120 per year, which is quite expensive. However, you can get a promo code uh, we're offering, so you can get $60 off your web hosting service, and you can get a free domain with them as well. You can do that by using the promo code Ben's Tech Tips. If you want to see more info on how to get 50% off DreamHost web hosting services, click on the button on screen now. So to sign up for 000 web host, we can hit the sign up button on their website. And here you need to put in all the information. So you'll need to enter your domain name. So enter the domain name that you've registered previously with GoDaddy or whatever registrar you used. Or you can enter a free subdomain which can be used for free. However, the same rules apply. There's no guarantee that you can keep that domain name. So once you've signed up to 000 web host, click create my account and they will send you an email confirmation to your account where you'll need to activate your account just to verify that your email is correct. So once you've activated your account, you'll see the status building in your domain Obviously here will contain your real domain that you've bought, but for now, just for the purpose of this video, I've set up a free domain. And we can see that the domain is now active, and we can click on go to cPanel. So this is the control panel for 000 web host, this is your domain control panel now. In here you can upload files to your web server to configure your blog. Now if you watched the previous video, you will notice that we've set up our domain forwarding setup. And if you didn't know what to put into this box here, the points to setting, then the option is here, the give the IP address of your web server. If you sign up with DreamHost, they also give you an IP address, works the same. So you copy the IP address into your DNS settings, paste and add, and from then your site will then be pointed to that IP address. So as soon as your site's forwarded, you'll be sent to the uh, address of your site and that will give information about your web server. So you can currently see the website is running, but there's no content on there at the moment. If you go back into the file manager here, and it may alter very slightly with your web host, you can see that we have the default PHP file here, we don't need that, so we can get rid of it. Some web hosts may not even include a default PHP, which is fine, just because you don't need to delete it. So what we can do now is get the FTP details, 
and we need to open a program such as FileZilla which will allow us to send files to our web server. FileZilla can be downloaded from the site in the description or by clicking on the button on screen now. And basically what you need to do is get your FTP details from your web host, copy them into the settings above here. and connect and you'll be connected straight into your web server within the public HTML folder we need to put the WordPress files these can be can be downloaded from the website at wordpress.org hit the download button and download the latest version it's currently 3.71 and extract the files to your documents and with your files copy them to FTP so go back to your FileZilla and copy them to the right hand side like such this will start uploading your files to the server that you're running and then you'll be able to set up your WordPress site so once your site is uploaded to the web server what you need to do is go over to the internet and go ahead to your website and it will say there doesn't seem to be a WP config PHP file click on create a configuration file and you'll need to know the database name the database username password and host now as soon as we don't we need to go back over to your cPanel and go into the MySQL section and create a database and use username and password and click create database and it will then create a database for you you should then be able to see it in the PHP my admin section of your web host there we go we can see that's already in the web hosting service now so back over to the WordPress setup click on let's go we need to copy the database name the database user and the password that we set up previously and the host is currently set to and set up the host uh, to localhost in this case, however it may be different and once you've got the configuration correct click on run install and this is where we pick up off our other video so we just type in site name which is Ben's Tech Tips in this case my username is Ben's Tech Tips my password and my email and click install WordPress and log in so as you can see this is the dashboard just as in the other version of WordPress so if we go to the website itself you'll see the WordPress site there and just as before you can create your blog posts in the same manner as in the free WordPress hosting. Please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Please check out my other videos uh, at youtube.com forward slash Ben's Tech Tips. Please also check out my website at www.benstechtips.co.uk.